There we go. Hello, everybody. My name is Regular Gamer Alex. Welcome back once again to some more Sly Cooper 2. So the last we left off with our boy Sly Cooper. We're over here trying to hunt down Dimitri because he has a part of the clockwork. Old foe of our team. Okay, I'm already being chased even though we just started. Yeah, we're trying to get the clockwork part. Because we defeated clockwork at the very end of the first game. He was the final boss. Okay. So where is Bentley's mission at? Well, there's Murray's. Okay, Bentley's is this way. Okay. There we go. He does have nearly as much stealth capabilities as... Oh, I need to go completely around, huh? Oh, god dang it. Ah. Boing. Yeah, I get all the way around. Okay, here we go. We're coming up on Bentley's mission. Let's go ahead and do you, Bentley. Let's see what we need to do for you. Past the laser fence, you'll need to blow it up. Press the triangle button to drop a bomb, and then get out of the way before it explodes. Okay. Bombs away. Oh. Uh. Can I use the darts? I can't. Okay. Uh. That's not it. That's not it. Is it R1? It is. Okay. Good job. Now, use your sleep darts to get by the guard. Press the R3 button. If he's out, drop a bomb on him while he's down to keep him that way. Ooh, smart. Okay. There we go. And there's the next one. Hey, Bentley. How you holding up out there in the field? I think I hold on pretty well. Fine, I'm just fine. I just need to bob all the pillars supporting that disco ball and I can get out of here. What's with taking out the disco ball? Its impact will shake the nightclub's front peacock side loose from its morning. Look, I can't talk now. I've got to keep moving. Keep safe. Okay, understandable, understandable. So we just need to play spawn. Okay, so we need to drop the disco ball. Okay, we got three more to get to. One, two, three. Okay. Here we also have these guys. There we go. But we can just use the sleep knots to take them out. Throw explosive. Can I place more one? I can. I couldn't remember if I could or not. There we go. That's two down. Two more to go. Uh oh. Uh, can I sleep dart you through the lasers? I don't know if that's possible. No. Uh. Oh, I guess it did work. Here we go. Sorry, buddy, but you're in our way. We can't have you interfering. Same with you, buddy. Explosive for you. And an explosive for you. Okay, we just got one more pillar. Yeah, Bentley has a few stealth capabilities, but not as much as Sly. But more than Murray. Here we go, and that should be the last one. There we go. Dang, the whole thing blew up. Is that job complete? Wow, we felt that all the way back here at the safe house. Right, the peacock sign had half of its bolts pop off on impact. There we go, job complete. Quick and easy. But now we need to get all the way back to the hideout and switch over to Murray or Sly. So let's head on back. Let's switch over to Murray and go ahead and do his mission, which is over here. And then we'll save Sly's mission for last. Let's see what Murray's is. What does it say it's called? Sounds the alarms. Okay. Uh oh. Good night, good night, good night. And good night. 
Yeah, you're not going to be able <laughs> to stop Murray that easily. Okay, Murray. That alarm horn will tip off Dimitri during our heist. There are three of them out here, and I need you to take them out. Check. This is going Got to it. take some serious muscle, Murray. You're the only guy on the team who can pull this off. Stop to pick things up, then throw it at those alarm horns. Good luck, pal. This could get rough. Evildoers feel my wrath. You'll never defeat the Murray. One. Two. And number three. Okay, that's one out of three. Okay, so we got two more. Uh, I don't know where they are. Stop. If you leave this area, you'll abandon your current job. Well, I don't know where the next post is. Uh. Oh, okay, I see, I see. It wasn't really telling us where it was. Okay, so it's all the way over there. But it says still one more afterwards. Okay, it's at the very other side. Okay. So we gotta go clean around the entire place. Go to the rooftops. Okay, I see it. No. Hold down the R1 button? Uh oh. I got many enemies coming after me. Not happening. Sorry, folks. You're not going to defeat us that easily. We're the brawn. Okay, we got one more alarm. It's over here to the right. Let's see if I can... Can I make this jump? There we go. It's the side of that building. Uh-oh. Ooh, that was close. That was real close. I don't think I'm going to be able to make that. Yeah. Let's go around through here. Oh, I see the newspaper stand over here I can use for this. I missed. I'm going to just go ahead and do this. And that'll finish it. There we go. Job completed. Good work, Murray. Get rid of you. And now we need to go back and switch over to Sly. And we got enemies after us. Well, at least the hideout isn't too far away. As long as we get there quick enough, we can avoid actually finding enemies. Oh, god dang it. As soon as I say something. Y'all will not defeat the Murray! I will fight through you all! Bring it! Ow! Oh jeez, there's a lot of them. Well, I killed most of them, so let's go ahead and go over here. <laughs> nope. There we go. Now let's switch over to Sly. Okay, Sly, my boy, we got work to do. Your mission is the last one. Uh, I need to get onto that building up there. Uh, oh, here we go. Here and there we go. Okay, so what do we need to do for this job? Tell it to me, Bentley. Sorry, Bentley, but those fans are spinning way too fast to walk on. They can be slowed down from this control panel, but you'll have to do a lot of pickpocketing to get at it. The guards okay. are carrying special fragile keys that will be destroyed if you attack. So Make we got a pickpocket them, okay. Keys before you take those thugs out. To pickpocket okay. guards, sneak up behind them and press the circle button. Start off with this guy over here. Keep picking his pocket. Some 
Yep, whenever their pocket's glowing, that means they have something in there. There we go, and then we can... Can we take them out afterwards, or is that a no-go? Let's see. Okay, yeah, so we need to pickpocket them first, grab it, and then use the keys. <laughs> We're collecting keys all over again. Because that was like one of the whole big things about the first game was... Most time we were just trying to do like little mini games to collect keys to go stop uh, one of the thieves who stole the pieces of the Phoebeus Raccoonus. Sly's family book. Okay, there's one guy over here. Need to pickpocket six in total. Ooh. Ooh! I cannot see. I cannot see. There we go. Okay, I don't think I should take him out because if I do, I'm not going to be able to get this guy's. Uh oh. Don't turn, don't turn, don't turn. Oh, why'd you have to turn? Please tell me you didn't hear that. Okay, I should be able to take him out now because I already took his key. I need him to turn around so I can just quickly stealthily kill him. I guess just a stealth takedown is the best word. Yup. Good night. Is there anything back here? No. Okay, we still got three more keys to find. Very good and golden. Okay, just like a little backstage of theater. Once I break these, oh, just coins. <laughs> In the original game, all, when you collected coins, all you'd get from was a horseshoe, which was like extra life. And then that one, one hit, and you were a goner. Yes, just go back to sleep. There we go. That's four keys. And good night to you. Okay, we still got- oh, I see a light over here. There we go. Crap. No, 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 no. Don't hear anything. Uh-oh, and we don't want to get hit by the spotlight over here. We don't want the enemy to know we're here. There we go. Last key. And now let's get rid of you. Nice work, Sly. See ya. For the control panel to slow down the fans. Okay, so the fan was back up there. Uh, can I get back and climb? What I did? I pressed O. Come on. I guess I didn't click in time. There we go. Looks like the fans have stopped. Use them to get on top of the main chandelier and insert that splice clip. Sure thing, Bentley. <clears throat> Need to jump from fan to fan. There we go. I'm overriding the spotlight security guns. Oh, okay, that's smart. But I feel like that's also going to end up making a lot that of noise. Do it. No more security in the printing press room. Good. Job completed. What's next step, Bentley? Okay, fellas, the dominoes are all in place. Operation Thunder Beat. Big heist. First, Murray will help me break into the old water tower. From there, I should be able to shut down the plaza fountain. Dimitri's sure to send someone out to get the repair truck. Slot, you'll pickpocket the truck keys off this guy once he shows up. Then hand them off to me and Murray in the plaza. Okay. We'll go steal the truck while you climb to the top of the nightclub's peacock sign. When you're in position, 
Murray will fire the truck's winch line up to you and will use it to pull down the side. If my calculations are correct, the impact should create an entrance to the printing press room. Then, Sly, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we all get the heck out of here. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it, Bentley. Operation Thunderbeak. Let's go. Oh, it looks like we actually need to do as Bentley. Your turn, Bentley, my boy. You can't climb pipes, but you can still do stealth stuff. Oh, it's right here. Come on, chum. Let's get to that water tower. Let's go. Let's don't run into any enemies. We should be fine. Well, okay, then. Not much I can do about that. Come on. Sleep. Thank you. And good night. Jump into On a day's arms. work. I'll toss you up there. Uh, jump plus O to have Murray. Okay. Uh, do I press X? Yep. Okay, I guess I need to lower it. Uh, lower it would be like right here. Okay, he bounces off. That's okay. Right here. There we go. Have to blast your way in. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. Oh, come on. We bounced off the side. Come on. Whoops, wrong button. Come on. Okay. Right here. There we go. Okay, we're in Bentley. I need to focus. Which uh, valves do I turn to divert water pressure from the plaza? To change the flow of water through a valve, I should press the circle button. Change it from the one that's flowing? Oh, but, yep, that's my answer. Okay, I'll uh, change it to this one. Okay, then this one. Then this one. Then this one. Success! Boom! Got it! Success indeed, the Bentley. Water pressure to the fountain should be disabled. Good. It's off all right. They're already sending out the repair guy to fix it up. Pickpocket the keys to his repair truck without being seen. Without being seen, we can do that. We are Sly Cooper, after all. Stealth is quite literally in the family name. Okay, these other two enemies, on the other hand, are going to be a bit more of an issue. Okay, now unless they do that, in which case it won't be an issue for much longer. I just need to get behind you. No, come on, it's right there. Get the key. There we go. We got the key. Repair truck key. Okay, head back to the fountain to make the exchange. Him back. Hey, Pendley. Hey, Murray. We it's got the key. You. Let's head out for the repair truck. Uh, where's the repair truck? You just say head out to the repair truck. Where's it? Okay, it's at that side. Uh -oh. Okay, here it is. I'll what the, the harpoon on the back? I okay. To drive a stick shift. I need to get in position on top of the nightclub's peacock sign for phase three. Oh, so we need to climb the peacock? Uh, okay, is there anything to grab over here? Okay, I think I see what I need to do. There we go. 
yes, I see you, Mr. Bottle. Here we go. Oh, he just kind of drove right through the briefcase Wait. there. We're just driving up right now. Get ready to grab the tow harpoon. Oh, we're controlling it. Okay. Uh, not high Ooh. enough. Okay. There we go. Hooks on. Pull away. Sly, the guards are on to us. Protect the truck. Oh, no, you don't. Uh oh. Oh, I said as I missed. You will do no such thing to the vehicle. I'm sorry, don't you guys need this repair truck? <laughs> I mean, it is a repair truck. Come on. Stop it. You guys are not going to win. And thank you for the coins, though. Oh, no, you don't. I said before, and I'll say again, you're not going to win. Then you're just going in circles there. There we go. And there goes the sign. And the fountain. Behold the majesty of gravity and inertia. That was real subtle, <laughs> Bentley. Okay, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we're out of here. Let's go. bumming my house up and bringing me down. So very uncool. Why can't you let birds and bees be free, bro? Listen, Dimitri. You have no idea what you're playing with. It'll bring more than your house down. Look, bro. I see you are a tough cowboy. A man with taste, style, vision, a connoisseur of finer things. Like me. Look, I'm sure that two <laughs> cats in a bag like us can work something out. Yeah? We smooth. Yeah? Look. Money. You're like the money. You can take all you want. I can. No deal. You and the rest of the claw gang have to be stopped. Clockwork will never again see the light of day. Just hand over the tail feathers and we can. <laughs> what is this with clocks, bro? Have you no vision? Are you hearing what I mean to you? You think you have juice? Don't show me a little mind when talking about such big things. You think you can swing the bat? Show your bling and let me shine you. I have okay. no idea what you're saying. Yeah, and neither do I. Sucks. No! Let's dance! Oh, now that was just mean, Sly. Telling him his suit sucks. <laughs> but to be fair, we're not here for your money. We get money easily. We're a thief. We're a master thief. But what we need is... Okay. Wait. Oh, that did not work. Okay. Oh, I think I get it. Okay, it does it three times, and then... Okay, I see. You do a tail swipe. Get back over here! Come on, Dimitri. Ow. Okay, that didn't work. Ow. Okay, I'm getting hurt a lot here. Wait, where'd he go? Okay! Okay, so he does it three times. And then it breaks his little ring. His ring of power, I guess. Okay, he does a tail swipe attack. And an uppercut? Okay. Oh, jeez, he got some speed. Yeah, a ring attack of his is our big concern. Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to do it in time before. Okay, or still we're able to. No, you don't. Come on, Dimitri. You want to dance? Let's dance, boyo. Boom! Whoa! 
was he gonna try and do? Print more money? Oh, now he's being printed. You take clockwork feathers and my counterfeit in operation. It's past tense. I'm doing you a favor. What kind of thief prints money? There's no honor in that. You that is true. Crack a box. <laughs> well, at least we got the tail feathers, which is good. Oh, we still got a lot more clockwork pieces to get. But you don't want them to bring clockwork back. My gang and I had done it. The clockwork tail feathers were ours, and Dimitri's counterfeiting operation was ruined. Yep. Due to the untimely arrival of Carmelita, my escape got a little tricky. Angry at having just missed me, she took it out on Dimitri. Oh, poor Dimitri. Shutting down the nightclub and throwing the frustrated forger behind bars. <laughs> All those band-aids. The gang and I headed out of town for a week in Monaco. I figured the team had earned themselves a well-deserved break. Sounds like a good plan. Paris, Monaco. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to episode two. Starry-eyed encounter. Let's do it. That was a fun first episode. Another clockwork part had surfaced in India. So the boys and I loaded up the van and zeroed in on our next target. A mysterious spice lord known as Rajan. A self-made man who grew up poor on the streets of Calcutta, he started his life a crime selling illegal spices in the black market, eventually growing his small outfit to a sizable operation and earning himself a seat in the prestigious Claw Gang. He since crowned himself Lord of the Hills, and while he goes to great lengths to convince others of his royalty, it's mostly to convince himself. Okay. True to form, he's holding a lavish ball in his newly purchased Ancestral Palace. The reason? To show off his latest acquisition, the Clockwork Wings. The oh. symbol of my enemy. If you saw the wings silhouetted against the night sky, it was already too late for you. Especially if your name was Cooper. Mm-hmm. Rajan believes displaying the wings will bring him prestige. And maybe they will. But they're also bringing me. Yep. He's not going to be too happy when we take it from him. Sly Cooper and the gang in a starry-eyed encounter. Oh, this is going to be a lot of fun. Okay. Seems like we only have Sly to start off with. That's an elephant. Okay, well that's an elephant. Interesting. This should get interesting. Uh, give me a second, guys. Okay, here we go. We're back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, my internet went out, so I had to wait a couple hours for it to come back. Hate it when that happens, but it happens. Okay, we gotta watch out for this elephant here because it has little um, spotlights. So we need to get in. Uh... With the drawbridge up, the only way across that river is on those conical rocks. Okay. Do you remember how to spy yeah. yourself? Sir, what? You think I forget one of the Cooper family's greatest thief moves? Whenever I'm near pointed objects, I just need to jump and hit the circle button to perform a ninja spire landing. That's correct. <laughs> now let's see it in action. You need to jump, press the circle button, do basically anything in this game. <laughs> At least that's fly. Sorry if my nose. Ugh. Sorry if I sound a bit nasally. My allergies are really acting up. It happens. Okay. So let's head off over here. There we go. Wanna try and get back on the rooftops. That's the best way to go about uh -oh. 
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, wait. It's moving away. It's an elephant, isn't it? Yep. Here we go. I figured out how to sneak in above the ballroom without being detected. The only problem is there's no way to climb up to that balcony door. Not a problem. There seem to be plenty of branches for me to walk on. I'll figure it out. <laughs> if anyone can find a way, it's Sly Cooper. So we need to get up onto branches. Simple enough. And there we go, we're on the balcony. Simple and easy. Oh wow, we already see the wings. Just don't go out onto that balcony and you should remain undetected. Okay. Yeah, the clockwork rings. Looks like the wings have been welded onto that statue. Then we're gonna need to unweld them to be able to get it back. Go for them. They look heavy. Getting the wings out of here will be a real challenge. Yeah, those are giant wings made out of metal. Uh, oh. Oh, wait, here we go. It's a winch. An electronic winch. That could be useful. That's him. Rajat's really pulled out all the stops to impress people with this party. Apparently so. Maybe you should get some shots of the guests. Of the guest? Spider Lady. That's the Contessa. I think I vaguely uh, remember I'm her. Prison warden for Interpol. She must be working undercover to expose Rajan's spice ring. Yeah, I think I vaguely remember her. Uh, who else? Parrot. Another claw gang member. Or parakeet. Our arpeggio specializes in exotic technology. Well, he is uh, walking around with whatever that thing is. Oh, Carmelita. Uh, Carmelita's here too. She must be undercover with the Contessa to help bust Rajan. Okay. Who's next? Big guy. Jean Bisson, a member of the Claw Gang and Canadian Shipping Baron. He owns half the trains in Canada. Okay. Who's next? Unless I want to take a picture of the guard over here. Okay, I'm not seeing anyone, so do I take a picture of the guard? Say cheese! <laughs> I'm missing a person. I'm missing Neela. Hello, Neela. Oh. There you are. Neela, another officer undercover. Watch yourself, Sly. This party is crawling with cops. That's all the photos I need. Bring them back to the safe house and we'll start building a game plan. Okay. Stealing the clockwork wings in the middle of a crowded ballroom is going to take some serious misdirection. And the squad of undercover cops only makes things more complicated. Yeah, we don't want to get caught by any of them. We might be able to use them to our advantage. But no matter what we do in the ballroom, sooner or later we'll need to deal with Rajan's security chopper. Murray can take it out with some of the local armaments, but he won't be able to get inside the palace until Sly lowers the drawbridge for him. Okay, then we need to lower that drawbridge first. It's going to make it a lot easier to actually get in and out of the place. So let's go ahead and choose Sly. Yep, lower drawbridge. Yeah, we should go ahead and do that one first. It'll make this a lot quicker and oh, hi. Snake hiding in a bush. 
gonna say it'd be a lot easier if we go ahead and lower the drawbridge first. So you don't have to keep doing this part over and over again. Is jumping? Yep. Ooh, you gotta be kidding me. Jumped right into light. Uh-oh. Ooh. Oh, barely dodged that one. Okay, where is the mission? It's up there. Oh, no, you don't. Get back down here. Uh-oh. Ooh. Okay, they are really after me, huh? No, you don't. Here we go. Sly, Murray and I can't get inside the palace unless you lower the drawbridge. I'd love to, pal, but the winch is all locked down. You know where I can find the keys? Key guards have recently taken up positions around the palace. Sneak in, pick all of their pockets, and bring the keys back to the lockdown winch. Okay, so like we did before back in Dimitri's episode with the fans. Okay. Oh, great. The elephant. Okay, that's not good. Wait, can I jump on top the elephant? Oh my god, I can. Come on. Give me the key. There we go. Uh, where's the next key? Jeez, they're all over the place. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Why did you have to turn right there? Give me whatever is. Oh, gold pin. Nice. Now, good night. Okay. It's like Nick's keys over there. There we go. Take you out. Okay, we still got three more and they're all over at that side. I see the helicopter we need to take down. You can use noise to lure this guard from his post. Try ringing that gog and picking his pocket when he returns to his post. There we go. Okay. Uh oh. Oh yes, big pickpocket from him. Oh, we got silver ring. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, good night. Right below me, okay. Come on, there we go. Okay, we just got one more key. Looks like he's on the very other side of this place. Is it this guy up here? Whoa, I see treasure. Yeah, I see him. That's so many coins. There we go. Good job, Sly. Now take those stolen keys back to the padlock witch to lower the drawbridge. Okay, but can I pick up the treasure right now or uh oh? Oh, oh. Okay, this place has too many guards. We'll come back later. For now, let's return back to the drawbridge. 
so Bentley and Murray can actually get over here. Because if not, only Sly can get over here because he's the only one who can actually do some of these moves like tying up the pipes, the vines and whatnot. Bentley can't do it and Murray definitely can't do it. Here we go. Very nice, very nice. Okay, does Sly have any more missions? Okay, he's got one. Ballroom dancing, battle chopper for Murray. Let's go ahead and do ballroom dancing. Then I might end the video after that. I'll see how long it takes. I don't think I can jump high enough to reach that easily. Okay. I go around through here. Yep. Here we go. Hello, I'm here for the dance. Hello? Oh. Sorry, sir, but we have a dress code. You got a tuxedo? Uh, no. Sorry, pal. No tux, no entry. Okay, so it's a black tie event. Huh, okay. Do you need Sorry, to steal one? Sly. Somehow I totally overlooked the need for formal wear. Well, that guy's not going to let you in without a tuxedo. Don't beat yourself up, Bentley. At a party this ritzy, there has to be a spare penguin suit around here somewhere. Try the guest house. Someone may have overpacked. Okay. Uh oh. Ah. It's not enough, I'm gonna have to cut the video short because I have a dentist appointment in half an hour, so I gotta go ahead and end the video here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe since it supports me and the channel. And if you guys have any gaming recommendations at all, do leave it in the comments down below. But until then, I'll see you guys next video. Stay awesome.